Welcome to Awesome Code. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will learn about hashing password in Python. Avoiding storing password in place, plain text is known uh, best practice. As software usually only needs to check whether the password provided by the user is correct. And the hash of the password can be stored and compared with the hash of the provided password. If the two hashes matches, the password are equal. If they don't, the provided password is wrong. Storing password is a pretty standard practice and usually they are stored as a hash plus some salt. The salt is randomly generated string that is joined with the password before hashing. Being randomly generated, it ensures that even hashes of equal passwords get different results. Python provides standard library, uh, which we can use uh, for hashing functions. So let's see how to uh, hash with the Python. So first I'm going to uh, import hashlib. I will be using pbkdf2. pbkdf2 is a key derivative, the derivation function where the user can set the computational cost. This aims to slow down the calculation of the key to making it more impractical to brute force. It takes a password, salt, and number of iteration to produce a certain key length, which can also be compared to a hash as it is also a one-way function. So let's try to import hashly first. Import hashlib bin ASCII OS And now first I'm going to define my hashing password function. So this will be hash password and it will take a password. And the first thing we will do is to generate some random salt that should be added to the password. That will be the SHA-256 hash of some random bytes. And read from OS uh, modules you random uh, let's uh, do that so we're here this will be our salt and hash lib dot sha 256 and os dot you random and I'm going to pass in 60. Don hex digest and encode encode ASCII it then extract a string representation of the hash salt as a set of a hexadecimal numbers 
uh, the hack digest and now we are going to pass this salt to pbkdf2 underscore hmac together with the password itself to hash the password in a randomized way. So let's add a code for that. This will be our password hash and hash lib dot pbkdf2 underscore hatch mac and we are going to pass in sh512 so this will be SHA 512 uh, this is the hash digest algorithm for HMAC and then I will do password dot encode uh, UTF eight. Uh, here we are converting the password to bytes, and then we are going to pass in the salt. So this will be salt. And then we will have a, uh, it is uh, recommended to use at least a uh, 100,000 iteration of uh, our uh, SHA 512. So I will add a 100,000. Uh, pbkdf2 underscore hmac function requires bytes as uh, its uh, input that to string password and cell were previously encoded in uh, pure bytes the salt is encoded as uh, plain ascii as the hexadecimal representation of a hash will only contain uh, the zero to nine digits and uh, correct a to f uh, characters while the password is encoded uh, as udf8 it could contain any character the resulting uh, pbkdf2 is a bunch of bytes uh, as we want to store it into a database we can use uh, bin ascii dot hexlify convert the bunch of bytes into their hexadecimal representation in a string format. Hexlify is a convenient way to convert bytes to strings without losing data. So over here I will get password hash and I'm going to call bin sk dot hexlify and then password hash and now at the end now we will join uh, together the hash with this solve as we know that the hex digest of uh, 256 hash the salt uh, over here uh, 
is always uh, 64 character long. By joining them together, we can grab back the salt by reading the first 64 character of the resulting string. So let's, I'm going to return. Here will be salt plus our password hash dot decode ASCII. Now I'm going to write uh, our function a check password. Uh, so it takes two arguments, the hash password and the new password that should be verified. So we're here. Def check password stored password and over here user password and now we are going to verify a store password against uh, one provided by user the user password so first we will get the salt by using stored password column 64. So we are extracting first 64 characters, which is the uh, salt. And then we get the stored password. So this will be store password. Stored password sixty-four colon. And now I'm going to use uh, to get our password hash password hash this will be hash lib dot pv kdf2 underscore hash mac that's a j512 And this will be our user password, password dot encode UTF eight. And salt dot encode ASCII and then 100,000 the similar way we did before and our password hash and we are going to call bin ASCII dot hexlify and our hash password password hash and decode ASCII And this will return our 
password hash and we are going to compare the result with our user password if they are match it uh, if they match it will return true as false and now we can uh, test our uh, code in our check password when we extract the salt and the stored uh, password uh, we provide the salt and the password to pbkdf uh, hmac to compute their hash and then convert into a string uh, with the bin uh, ascii uh, hexlify over here if the resulting hash matches with the hash part of the previously stored password uh, those are the characters of the result it means that the two password matches if the resulting hash doesn't matches it means that the provided password is wrong and now i'm going to call a hash password function and pass in some password and save in a, a variable the return value so this will be our stored password and i will call hash password and here i'm going to pass in some uh, password string so this would be my password and I'm going to print that store password print stored password and now we are going to compare uh, the store password with the user provided password so we are going to check I'm going to call check password and here I'm going to pass in the store password Your password and then I'm going to enter my password again so this would be my password let's see if they match or not and I'm just going to print that uh, print the result uh, let's run our script. Oh, I need to fix this. This is PB. 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 And over here too. Here I need to match with the stored password. So this will be stored password. And after we run our program, we get this true. Uh, so the password matches. I will clear the terminal and now I will uh, pass in the wrong password. Uh, 
or hair. Um, this one we have this password, my password, and this time I will enter the wrong password. So this would be wrong password, and now run our program again. So the first one uh, is true and the second one is false. So the second uh, password uh, don't matches. To keep on learning, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Ask Same Code, and like my video, keep supporting me, and thank you for watching.